Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make baby food. I will be making kale, but this is the same process for most fruits and vegetables. All you need is a double boiler with a little bit of water in it. You don't need too much. And you could buy a double boiler at just about any store and you don't need to get any expensive one. They all do the same thing. So for the kale, you wash it really good first and then you just pull the um, kale from the stem. You don't want to put the stem in there because that's the tough part and you don't eat that. And then once I fill it up, go ahead and turn on medium heat and let it steam for about 15 minutes is what I did. And you'll see it turns a bright color and kind of mushes down. Then once that's done, you're just going to put it into a blender. You could use any kind of blender. I have a baby bullet, but you most certainly do not need to spend the 50 or $60 for one of those. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. You could just use a $30 blender that you find at the store. The only thing I do like about the baby bullet is it comes with a nice little storage system. You'll see some of the containers here in a moment, which I do like that. So I'm just going to dump all the kale in there. And for most vegetables and fruits, you're going to want to add a little bit of water to it. So it's a little bit um, more liquidy for the young baby. And as you can see, there's some nutrients. You know, the water has changed color. So I'm definitely going to use that um, versus using tap water. And since I didn't put much in there, I'm just going to add all that in there. And if you find that the food you make is too runny, just add a little bit of baby cereal to thicken it up. I'm just going to blend this, and it does not take long. Like I said, this is the same process you're going to do for pretty much every vegetable. Um, some fruits like apples, other fruits like peaches, softer things, plums, they won't need to be steamed. You could just peel them and throw them right in here and blend them. So making baby food is so easy, and I think it's fun too. So I do stop, I blend it for a little bit and I'll stop and see if there's any lumps or chunks of stuff in there. There still was a little bit, so I'm going to blend this a little bit longer. And my son's about eight and a half months old, so he can handle thicker food. Um, but if your baby's just starting out, you know, like four months, five months old, you want to make it pretty liquidy. So just a few more seconds to blend that. Then I'm going to go ahead and dump them into a few of the little baby bullet storage containers. And then I'm going to leave the lid off of them for a while so it kind of cools down. I don't like putting the lid on when it's so hot that it's going to build uh, moisture in there. So I normally fill them up and then let them cool on the counter for a little bit and then put the lids on them. So as you can see, it's a little bit more runnier. Definitely something my son can handle. And I only made about three days worth. I give them one fruit and vegetable a day. Because um, if you're going to keep it in the refrigerator, it's only good for about three days, they say. Um, sometimes I keep mine for four, depending on what it is. Um, but up to the, in the freezer, I think it lasts about three months. But I don't like freezing it and then giving it to him. I feel like it's not that fresh. And I'd rather just make it, you know, every few days make him some. It's really not that big of a deal. It's really easy to, really easy to do. You just throw it in the double boiler and, you know, set the timer and walk away and go do something else. And I love these little containers that come with it because they're the perfect uh, serving size. So thanks for watching. Leave me any questions if you have any about uh, baby food. I've pretty much made every vegetable possible and fruit.